Hello everybody, this is the Checkmade URG86 hand grenade. This one is inert, which means it's not live. Doesn't go boom, it's for training only. It came from the factory that way. This one was made in January 1990, so uh, several months before I was born, I guess. The SK denotes it as a training grenade that translates to school or for school, which means training only. It's not literally made for like children in school, even though it kind of sounds funny, but it's not. So this is a pretty interesting grenade. It's black. The black means it's a training grenade. There are basically three versions of this grenade. The first one is the live version of this, which is green. The second version, I believe, is also green. It has an active primer, but no explosive. So it pops, but not dangerously, or, well, less dangerously. This one doesn't do anything. It just snaps and has no actual explosive material in it, which is good for my purposes. It's pretty interesting. It has a switch on there little green switch it has two modes one mode is fragmentation delay so um, or excuse me delay rather so I believe this position is time delay which is if I'm not mistaken three to f almost five seconds from pulling the pin and releasing the spoon this position is impact so when we throw it when it hits something it, it's supposed to blow up on impact so I can't recall which position means which. Um, you'd want to find out if you have a real one before you throw it. <laughs> so pretty simple. It's mostly plastic. Go ahead and squeeze this. It's going to be a little bit hard to do with both hands, so bear with me here. Squeeze this. And actually, I can probably have the... I've uh, pulled a pin so many times this thing, I could probably drift it out just by holding push or pulling this spoon and just flipping it over. So, the pin's out. Let's see what happens when I release. You waiting for it to blow up? It's not going to happen. So the spoon came off. You can easily reload this if you will. This is the pin. This is the hammer and firing pin assembly with the spring. It's really tough. You just pull this back. There's the fake primer. And that kind of snaps that and then that initiates the fuse. This top piece is threaded on the bottom. I'm going to go ahead and uh, unthread it here. It's going to be a little tight. Let's see if I can do it with one hand. There we go. It's coming off slow but sure. I'll set the phone down real quick. There we go. It uses a green clay as a seal, which is pretty interesting. I would imagine the real ones do this too. It just comes right out like that. You can disassemble the top here. I'm not going to do it on a video. There's a little spring in there. A little square spring. You can pull that out. And then it reveals a little piece of metal. There's the clay seal. I would imagine the real ones have a clay seal too, but I'm not sure. On the inside, we have the uh, fake explosive material and more green clay in there. Kind of interesting how they have little, <laughs> looks like little lead shards or whatever it is in there. I believe this mimics the actual explosive. I highly doubt that is explosive material in there. I could be wrong. Who knows? This is from the uh, Czech Republic or Czechoslovakia. I murdered the pronunciation of that, I'm sure, but it is what it is. So these are the basic assemblies. For the base, the top with the fake fuse and firing pin and hammer assembly. The spoon and the pin. So, pretty interesting. I bought another one just to keep in pristine shape. This one I like to uh, pull the pin and throw it around. You could use it to prank people, you know, or if you're in a oh, a bad traffic situation, you could use it for intimidation. Just kidding on that last bit. You don't want to do that. Well, thank you for watching, and tune in next time. Bye-bye.